What happened here? What happened? What happened here? So that's why I'm like, oh snap, there's Jamaicans over here. How did that happen? That's what that's what that's what kicked in my head. How did that happen? So here I am. Um was much the railroad in Costa Rica. The railroad. And brought a Jamaican The honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Mm-hmm. When he left Jamaica for the first time. Came to the money. He was one of the, what, what, first Jamaican teachers, you said? One of the first Jamaican teachers in the month. It's a lot of Jamaican history over here. Ah, yes. A lot of it. How can you see the bread we are speaking about? Yeah, I, I just that's said it. I smelled it. That's it. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Okay, that's it. That's okay. See what Hard dough about. bread is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. They have it there. Okay, smell it over there. They got the patty too. They have it there. Jamaican okay. people, we all over, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that's why they didn't want me to speak Spanish. They, they say, call oh, it what? Language. They call it bird language. Bird language? Bird, bird. So, so wait, English. why did they Why did they say that? Is it because it's too fast or what? It's because their mentality was to go back home. Yes, you know. got you. That, he, Jamaicans he, wanted to go, yes. Yeah, uh, so in a way that the most of them owes is against the truck. Okay. So they say, what? tomorrow I'll be back. Tomorrow I'll be back, right, back right, on right. that train. Tomorrow I'll be back on that train until today. They still is there. Oh, that that you know. Today. You know that makes a whole lot of sense that you say that, man. Yes. All right, here we go. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. No, that's this. This is where we are. I call it the Grand Terminal of the Caribbean. That's how it's spelled. Grand Terminal del Caribe. Um, I bought my tickets from like well, there's a local who gave who put me on. Um, we can buy your tickets online, Me Bus. I'll put that in the description as well. But Me Bus is uh, how I bought my ticket here. And then I went to the teller in the middle and we scanned it where the black guy's going. But yeah, after that, man, I think you wait for your bus wherever it may be. It might be over here. Everybody is waiting over here, right? Whichever the bus may be. And then after that, you're good to go, I think. I have to get on the bus first before I can say I'm good to go. So I'm going to be going there for the first time. First time. Hopefully the weather is going to be a little bit nice. Again, if you're following me for so far and you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, come on, man. What are you doing? Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. You know, we're trying to get ourselves our first at least 10K. All right. Come on. Let's, let's set a goal for ourselves for our first 10K subscribers. All right. Appreciate y'all. Let's get it. What am I doing? I forgot to give you guys a head up, heads up. We are nearly at, it's 10 o'clock right now, and it's mostly cloudy here in San Jose, Costa Rica. A nice 77 degrees, can't beat that. 77 degrees Fahrenheit, can't beat that. I think they use Celsius over here. Sometimes I'm not too sure who uses Celsius and whatever have you, but you already know, I'm gonna do the conversions up on the screen, okay? And I think this might be my bus. Right there. Right? Right there. Let's go. The Atlantic Railroad Project in Limon, Costa Rica began in 1871. It was aimed at connecting the Caribbean coast to San Jose for the exportation of coffee and bananas. Due to labor shortages and harsh working conditions, thousands of Jamaican and other West Indian workers were brought in to build the railway. They faced brutal conditions, including diseases, and dangerous working environments, which led to many deaths. After the railway was completed in 1890, the Jamaican laborers were largely abandoned without adequate support to return home, leaving many stranded in Limon, where they formed the foundation of the Afro-Caribbean community. Despite decades of their discrimination, their legacy remains central to the culture identity of Limon. Today, their contributors are honored during Costa Rica's Day of Black People and Afro-Costa Rican Culture Festival, which is held annually in Limon at the end of August. 
The festival celebrates the Afro-Caribbean heritage, recognizing their cultural and historical impact of these laborers and their descendants on Costa Rican society. I'm probably not. I'm probably not even gonna get time to come to a parade, though. Where you going? Are you a bus or something? What's up? Where you off to? All right down the road, man. Just literally right down the road, so we close to everything. I need a bus. Yeah, man. Yeah, guys, we here, man. We here. We just, we just getting situated. All right. All right, let me, let me get out of here. I know he spoke English, but it's time to get out of here. We keep it moving. Here in Limon. Let's get it. Okay. So he's it's a Jamaican dude, spoke English. I'm sorry, I know I'm in Limon. There we go. I can communicate, I found people I can communicate with. However, uh, I'm still in foreign land. I can't even think twice. Okay. But she's just warm up into this piece. It is 2.30 p.m. 2.30 p.m. Right off the bus station, which is right next to the McDonald's. 2.30 p.m. 88 degrees humidity here in the province of Limon, in the city of Limon. Right? Which translates to lemon. Lemon city, y'all. Uh. Not sure why it's called Limon. But what I may do is end up pausing the video, giving a brief history after I do my research. Because once again, your boy Nathan Estate came here without any research without anything you know what i'm saying i didn't do my due diligence so i don't know nothing but we'll figure out as we go once again i'm back on the street i wasn't going to record yeah but hey man something inside me just said just pull out the camera and hit record but yeah i'm looking at this as i'm walking and i'm figured get out here maybe some time ago once upon a time ago there was a train station here all right you see the rails here and it leads to what it may looks like a, a docking zone if it was a docking zone there is buses here so uh, there's things here uh, so limon central to the left man we gonna figure things out man Let's, let's figure this out. Yeah, you see more of the uh, railways of what was once Limon, right? So we hit up a different era here in Limon. I'm Rogelio Williams. I'm from Jamaica, too. Born here and grow here with my wife and my children. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you said you're born here in Jamaica town, right? Did you originally, well, what about your family? Where they, where did they come from? Yeah, they're from here. They're, they're all yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. Right. From Jamaica as well? No, not Jamaica. My family's from your Jamaica. Your family from ah, Jamaica. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole town is from Jamaica. Right, 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 right. Descendants. I, I'm like, I told you. They smile. Very. All right. <laughs> they smile. Very colors. Rust the colors, man. Respect. That's how my car. You said there's all Jamaicans over here. Yes. Born and raised, right? Well, oh. Yeah, but. All right, you. Yes, yeah, the whole town is from descendants from Jamaica. Uh huh. Why my, my granny come and bring my mother and right here, right back. All right. And come over uh, years ago. Yes. Okay. My granny come with her husband and right here, we get them property and right here we are. So it's, it's easy to say that. Us Jamaicans, we blend in pretty well here, right? You are welcome, right? All right, right. yeah. So, for other Jamaicans that's coming, what would you tell them? Welcome to Costa Rica and come mm -hmm. to Limon, to Jamaica Town. Uh, welcome. We're ready. Hello, uh, representing yeah. from Limon, Costa Rica. My yeah. name is Mike Anthony. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm there to know. I will wait on the fame here to Limon. Are you hear what's going on? Check that out. Well, of the night time, it's the 
best time yeah. because if many people are around the neighborhood and we saw many cars this year down the park and we buy many people anyone want to get to Costa Rica I will represent Limon okay thank you me I'm here now because that's very much I came straight from Jamaica and I transitioned here so yeah so I'm here pretty much if you're fine talking about it yeah 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 like the history and, and all of that stuff why mm -hmm. the history I cannot because I don't know too much about the history all right Most of it is Scholars people, you know. Mm -hmm. And the us Spanish people come here to play. So Spanish and us, us come over here to play domino. All right. Spanish, all Spanish, Chinese, Chinese as well. United, no? So we united. Uh, family, so we got to my grandma, my great grandma. Family. Great grandma from Jamaica. Do you know which parish in Jamaica? I don't know which parish. Oh. Uh. So, yeah, a long All right. time. All right, so you grew up over here, right? So would you say the Jamaican-born Costa Ricans, was it easy for them to, like, live amongst everybody else? Or how would you say? Was it tough for us, or was it... No, that is uh, that is uh, that is a long time ago, you know. Right. So uh, to them long time ago you should have uh, braces. Okay. Right. Uh, Spanish people them want braces and uh, we family come back. They uh, got to make the rain and chain road, you know. Yeah, to make the road. That's what I learned. Yes. To make the roads. Yes, that's right, you know, that's right, yes. Here you know. Cristobal follow. Guy. Okay, okay. No? Oh, Christopher uh, Columbus. Yeah, Cologne. Yeah, you guys call him Cologne. Yeah. He come here this side. Uh, see the part here. Mm -hmm. Over the key. Over the key on it. Right, right. So, he said a key. You know, so, he's, he means who put the name as well. Wow. Uh, find out the moment. All right. Just, just to really. So, that's why the key is named the moment. So, he okay. put the moment. Have you ever been to Jamaica yet? No. I like it, and I like to see it too. I don't know where, but I, I would like to go and visit one day. Yeah, yeah, one day, one day. I mean, if you can, if you can figure out where where your grandma them, it's probably easier if you can figure out from then. Then you probably start from there. Yeah, some families, some families. Right, right, right. Guys, I'm not even going to hold you. Trying to warm up to the Jamaican Costa Ricans was a challenging task until I revealed that I'm also a descendant of Jamaicans. After I revealed my family tree pretty much and revealed that I'm first generation Jamaican American, I told them I just came from Jamaica and I'm here to check out Costa Rica. And basically, they were inquisitive. They wanted to know my family surname. I told them my two family surnames and where I come from and after they heard my surname then they started to warm up and then a lot of them were open to having interviews and having conversations with me. And here we are in one of the main hangout spots in Costa Rica where a lot of Jamaicans come to chill out, play checkers, play dominoes. This is the Jamaican hangout spot. First when people get here, they thought I was going to go back to Jamaica. So. Uh huh. They didn't go back to Jamaica. So they didn't get to go back to Jamaica. A lot of them would say, stand by here. Mm hmm. Uh, that ain't green much. You know, they say, so here you are. So I got family in New York. I don't know if I'm doing good here and got to travel when things are bad. I got to travel out and a lot of opportunity. Then some of us just like this year we came back here because it's nice over here. When you get trapped here over there, when you got family over there, when you got uh, kids and grandkids, then uh, then you're having a problem going back home to your roots. Got gotcha. you. We are here. What we have to say? Some of my people they may know me in the Bronx, you know. What's up? Friends in the Bronx. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, we all over. That's proof. That, that's proof that we all over. See, I'm not lying. Jeremy. Mm hmm. Medic put everywhere we got. That used to be not going for the every year. But then you just. Why, well, you came during the winter and you seen the snow and you didn't like the snow? Look, 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 look. I, I've been saying it for a while that I'm like, I think I made one of the biggest mistakes in the Costa Rica trip ever, right? Mm -hmm. Made one of the biggest mistakes because when I dropped down here, I said, oh man, I think I already like it down here, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm like, oh geez, I can't really edit my itinerary because I'm, I have to leave, you know? And I've been doing so much bouncing around, I said, oh man, geez, I, I, I think I'm going to have to come back, man. I'm going to have to come back because cause, cause two days is nothing. I'm, I'm realizing this is nothing. So much more. Give me that. First, this one of the first, the second descendants. Really? From Jamaica. Wow. The second descendant. Second Jamaica. Second descendant from Jamaica. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. All right. All right. Sheesh. That's history. You've seen a lot, man. <laughs> you, you've seen a whole lot. Man. Oh, man. They come here. Uh -huh. and, matter of fact, this barrel around here, one black from here, the barrel. The barrel, yeah. It's named Jamaica Town. Yes. Yeah. First Jamaica to come to Costa Rica, they was right here. They are building railroad. Uh, machine the shop was over here. That's why I see. If okay. You go there, you will check all the, the whole trunk of a train. Mm -hmm. Is it here? Okay, I walk. So I walked around it. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, they came. They came on a ship named Lisa. 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 Yeah, that the ship bring the Jamaican and the Caribbean people to Port Moresby. They have them have a carpet no music for them with a hip and heel there. Yes. 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 Uh, people's name that came on the ship and uh, um, they came here the twenty of the twenty of some December eight seventeen something. Hmm. I was Garvey Al. No, no. What happened? Marcos Garby Al was right at the corner. Really? You yeah. deal of the uh, Black Star Line. In the career, they have a group coming out representing Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, I, would, I would be on that with my costume like Jamaican. Okay. Yeah, and then our next thing. Then I have to come then. Look, check the look that you got today. You yeah. have yeah. our yeah. best player we ever have in this country. And we, are, we have, so, we have so, the so, Hana. So, we have the Hana. That he put in the first goal in a World Cup. Yeah. His name is Juan Cayaso. That's you, sir. Oh, <laughs> now let's go. Let's go. No, 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 nothing to me. I am. I am. Nothing to me. I solo. Tell so, him where you come from. Tell him. All right. So, I'm from the United States, but I'm a descendant of Jamaica, right? So I just came from Jamaica now to really rediscover roots. And I hear that Jamaican here as well. Yeah. So that was what brings me here Good. to like to learn a little more. That's that's pretty much it. Cause that's I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? So when I hear I said, Oh, Jamaicans are over here in Costa Rica, I said, What? And I'm like, Yo, how did that happen? And they're telling me how that happened. The road road and it's a whole lot of history, you know? So that's what I'm saying. I know I have a large family too. So who knows that probably part of them is over here too because I have like a family tree that I'm putting things together too, right? And then somewhere in between, it's this, I have a missing link and all of that. So I don't know what I'm going to find. But two days, as he said, two days ain't enough. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm going to have to come back. So for real, I'm definitely going to have to come back. So. Can I find the place? Huh? When you come back, you can't find the place. I can find the place. All right. Well, look, I remember where so I come from. I'm walking around. So I, wa I was walking around, looking, yeah. talking to people and them. Yeah. So I kind of know where I am now. And I know Jamaica town. I, I, I do it all now. I know, I know Caribbean Sea over there. All right. I know what I'm saying. I, I know where I am. Yeah, I, I know, right, over here. right there. Right like, there. I know where I'm at. And if I walk straight down, I'm where, where I need to be. So I know yeah. bus station down there. So I, I know. I know. Oh, yeah. So when I come back, so. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that strip by the beach, them. 
down down by the where the McDonald's is. Where, where, where is this? You know, down by where the McDonald's is? Huh? You don't went to the soap yet? I haven't been all the way there. Come on. 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 Come 25th of August. Yeah, August, Augusto. Yes, because we keep in the 31st. Parade, parade, parade. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel tomorrow, like a, I feel, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow in the, uh, no. Time, time, yes, time. yes, yes. I'm leaving here tomorrow in the evening. That's yeah. when my bus leaves. Well, so going off. back to San Juan and then fly back. Sorry about that. Because like I- miss it for about 15 days? One? You made it for 15 days? 15 days? I, I can yeah, we have a parade here. Oh, jeez. the old town. All right. You could see all your Jamaica. Yeah. All the yeah. Jamaica. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to have to come, I'm gonna have to come back. I'm going to have to come. It's still time. It's still to go and come back. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to have to do that then. Oh, I will be like the 31st of August is the like big grand parade. Big, big. Uh, big uh, all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Start then. Call it up. It's start. Okay. Start now. Yeah. Starts all the way into Jamaica. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure. Yeah. 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 And I did keep my promise. I came back just in time for the parade where I got to see German and Mario yet again. And then I was able to see other places in Costa Rica. So I am gonna drop that video with me in the parade, the parade that is called the Day of Black People slash Afro Costa Rican Festival. That video would be too big to drop into this video. And I'm not sure if you guys are still watching at this point, if you are, you guys are awesome. But if you guys are still here, here's a little teaser of the after party. But I would have to admit, they know how to have fun here at night. Or especially after a big event, they know how to enjoy themselves, right? You see what I mean? They know how to enjoy themselves. They know exactly what they're doing. Money work. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to give this video a like and let me know have you been to Jamaica Town. My goal is to try to reach at least 10,000 subscribers. Hopefully, with your support, I can reach that goal. <laughs> I'll try to come back for this month. Okay. Burned down in the last six years. Yeah? Yeah, it burned down. It was gold. Everything was out of gold. The whole black kid belongs to the union. The union? You know, it's a hundred and odd years, and they never have that mentality. So they don't right. sell a little piece and sell a little piece, and then they will sell with the quarter of the black. Oh. Yeah, I see where they the blue. See the blue ones? Yeah. All of this year belongs to them. So this was the Negroes' union? So uh, yeah, the idea is to build it back. They start to build it back this way. Okay. So question, why did it burn down? Uh, Walls and then the electrical oh. system. Gotcha, that, that makes sense. Station, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, it had a lot of uh, apartments, so it, who, who coming up, who coming up, they try to help them with the, help them and they could 
put a little business, you know. All right. Because that's the idea. Mm-hmm. Development, improvement. Mm. Make those improvements. Let me see if anyone is here. Anyone is here now. Maybe a little too late. Okay, see the name. Universal Negroes Improvement Association. That's right. it. Okay. Marcus Garvey. That's, that's what it was. It was like this. Gotcha. Good. Wow. So what's going on on August 16th? I mean on 17th. August 16th. Uh, 17, yeah. 6 p.m. They have been a uh, special. Uh, I like a um, dress dress code. Oh, dress African code, attire. African. Okay, it's an event. I understand. All right. Right. Holy smokes, man! This is wow. This I didn't even know about all this, man. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> Marcus wow. Marcus Garvey did this. Marcus Garvey built this. Yeah. Wow, this guy, he was all over the place. Yeah. What are you doing? What do you mean? What? He was all over the place, man. He was out of one word. Yeah. He was out of one word. Wow. Yeah. A certain thing that the, the general secretary is not around with, even I even take you around with all the information. I gotta come back. He got <laughs> good information. I gotta come back. When you come back, I take you to him. All right. Direct. That's my personal friend from Antman. Really? We work together for the other year. He not too long gone pension, and I'm going next month. Yeah. <laughs> my good, good friend. What should, what should I call you? What's, what's your name? I even didn't tell. Drummonds. Drummonds. Hey. I'm Nate. Nate. Dr Nate. Okay, Nate. Nate. Easy. Nate. Nate. So Drummonds. Down the number. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. Back. You're sweet. So you're saying they want to bring it back? Not built on built on plastic, you said? Yeah, wood. Wooden plastic. Wooden plastic. Yeah. Wooden plastic. Very, very, very tough. Tough. Uh, against the heat. No Got you. Fire, no problem. No so problem. no problem with the fire. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Entiendo un poco español. Oh yes. Un poco español. Necesito practicar para. Estoy viajando a casa. Necesito practicar un poco español. Sí, pero mucho. I'm a Kenyo, mucho honor Kenyos, especialmente in Nueva York, in Jamaica, no entiendiste. No, no, no. Right? So over here it's like, wow. So I, I learned just so I could come outside. Right. So I had to learn just so I can, you know, just in case. Wow, this is a, a whole history lesson. <laughs> For real. So you better go home now and then, then make it down little man. Right. All right. Copier, yeah. Copier, yeah copier. Right. 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 So I got some homework to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The trains. The trains with all this. So Jamaican built all of this. Yeah. We call it machine shop. Machine shop. Machine shop yeah. So this was the machine shop. Yeah. So you had all. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, general. All right. Had all the trains, all the trains. Oh, okay. Machine shop or machine, it was in or whatever. And then that's Jamaica Town. And that's Jamaica Town. That's where they settled. Yeah, I seen it already. Okay, okay. I seen a, a bit of it. But if we want to, if we can go over there, we can definitely go and. Oh, we have to go around. Now I got. You come back now. Uh -huh. to the south. All right. To the south. The south. And we can, I always carry it to the north. Look, man, I'm I'm here for it. <laughs> north is both, both right. North is both right? Both right, yes. Okay. What about, what about the fishing? In? That's not this, we don't speak no more. Right. If you don't fish in, we're not speaking nothing more. I fish. My you dad fish. my dad taught me a little bit, but look, I grew up in the city, so I haven't done too much of it. Okay. But my dad, look. He was showing me how to do the fishing. <laughs> when my, my parents growing up, they bring this professor from Jamaica, Major Lynch. Major Lynch. Yeah, Major Lynch. He prepared the, the youths. So when they finish with him, they get work anywhere. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also office work. Uh, he, he, he teach them mathematics. Mathematics. From, uh, 
you know, a little everything. And they almost come out as professional. So you taught at the English school or the Spanish school? English school. English school. Ah, all right. Yeah. From the Salvation Army. From the Salvation Army. He was one of the, what, the first Jamaican teachers, you said? One of the first Jamaican teachers in the month. It's a lot of Jamaican history over here. Ah, yes. A lot of it is. It's in the boys' school. This is a school? Yeah. Uh, my parents used to call it boys' Spanish school. Boys' Spanish school. Why? Because they was going to English school and all, they only used to send them to English school at that time. Ah, oh, all right. Yeah. But the school have more than 100 years. Oh. Yeah. But their parents didn't want them to go to uh, Spanish school. No, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I wanted to know. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. Jamaicans generally call it bird language. So that's why they didn't want me to speak Spanish. They, say, they call it what? Language. They call it bird language. Bird language? Bird, bird. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Pajaro language. Yeah. Okay, okay. So they didn't want me to uh, uh, learn that language. So it's so wait, English. It's funny, though. Why, why, did they, why did they say that? Is it because it's too fast or what? Because they was, uh, their mentality was to go back home. Yes. You know. We got you. That, Jamaicans it, wanted to go. Yes. Yeah, uh, so in a way that the most of them owes is against the truck. Okay. So they say, what? tomorrow I'll be back. Tomorrow I'll be back, right, back right, on right. that train. Tomorrow I'll be back on that train until today's is they're still there. Oh, yeah. that, that you know, today. you know that makes a whole lot of sense that you say that, man. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, it, yeah. it makes a whole lot of sense because now I was thinking about, like, you, um, I think, I think uh, Mario said it earlier where you know, they were trying to get home, but you just never got to home. Never get back they never home. got home, and you said very few go back home. Very few, very few. Mm. But you're saying now your parents now live near the the ra railroad just yeah. because because uh, they they wanted to go back home. They want to go back home. Got you. So they didn't want to own nothing much. Nothing oh, much. they want to own much because well, it's like yeah, I'm going back home. So with the time, like one said, I would love this little piece of place, you know. Right, uh, right, right. And they, they keep it. They keep the little piece of place. Got you. But uh, nothing much. Nothing much. I got you. It makes yeah. sense. It, it makes sense. That's another piece to the puzzle on what you know Jamaicans' history over Why here. Why we're still here? Why you're still Why here? Why we're still here? Hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. oh, that's the funny school at the other time. Yep, I see it straight up. So you find the Catholic church, right? Uh -huh. when, you, when you find it, uh -huh. you say, okay, I'm, uh, I'm home. I'm yeah. going to the club. <laughs> I'm going to the club where everybody's at. I'm going home, straight ahead home. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, this place looks, it's a hey, pizzeria? Hey, hey. All right. Okay, it's a pizza spot. Yeah. I'm probably gonna to have to eat from there. So I see a um, an indigenous man. Okay, that's our hero. So he's the oh, he's Costa Rica's hero. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Pablo Presberry. Pablo Presberry. Yeah. Okay, how did he liberate? How did he liberate? Yeah, he was free. Um, free. Free was from the Spanish. Oh, it was him. Yeah. Okay, so he freed freed everybody from the Spanish. Pablo, I see you, fam. All right, he got the power. Yeah, see that? He got the fist raised. He knows what's up. Okay, that's good history. All right. So after gaining the respect of the Jamaicans here and having them show me around Lamon and giving me a history lesson, there is a lot of information that I learned and a lot of historical references relating to the Jamaican people linking them to Costa Rica as well as Nicaragua. There was a time now as we're exploring and German is showing me some places, I even found Cerasi. And for those who are Jamaican know that Cerasi is one of those medicinal herbs that Jamaicans use to fix a lot of things going wrong with the body, whether it be for blood pressure or stomach aches. Now, there was a point that we reached a shop that had Aki. And that caught my attention because nowhere else other than Jamaica would I find Aki in a country other than the United States of America. So once I see that, I said, yo, 
There has to be a Jamaican over here. Let's check out this store. Wow, that's really good. Was it your parents' farm or just you just decided to buy a farm? I'm a, I'm a third generation farmer. Okay. My grandfather in the 40s, then my dad in the 80s, and I have the farm in the last 15 years. Okay. But until the last 10, we I started the project. And last five years, this this building. Okay, third generation. Was it from Jamaica also? Yeah, he, my grandfather and my father's side were from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. My grandmother, yeah, second generation of Jamaicans. And, and on my mom's side, some of them was one from, from Corn Island. Um, oh, right. And the other one was from... You have a, it was interesting because you have this whole migration system, let's say, or connections. Mm -hmm. They were from Colombia, Panama. Also. Nicaragua, I yeah, got you. Yeah, I'm telling you, the longer I'm here, the longer I'm here, it blows my mind how much of the world I'm, I'm finding out. It is, you know, because look, look, I'm first generation Jamaican American new, mm -hmm. from the United States. And I was just selling Dremon. That's how I met Dremon. It's like, look, um, I've only lived in New York, right? Occasionally when I go to Jamaica, it's with um, just the family and I only stay in one place. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, where's the rest of my family? So this year I started to really travel out more in Jamaica and like really look for the rest of my family. And then I heard, oh, we got Jamaicans over here in Costa Rica. And then the second I land here, I'm hearing about this bigger web of, they're like, there's Nicaragua. And now you tell me Corn Island. I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. it's it's a lot to take in. I'm like, wow, wow. That like this, this history is. <laughs> you're, you're part of something bigger. <laughs> right. That's what you have to be conscious about. Right. What what you're right here right now, but many have done this path already, or, or we're building onto someone's job already. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. we're not alone here. We come. We have a history, and we have ancestors, and we have a lot of people that have done great job. So we can be here right now. So enjoy it. We got you. What's your name again? George Grant. George Grant, third generation farmer, guys. You hear that here, yeah, man. Everything from his land. That's why I'm like, look, somebody here has to be Jamaican to know about Aki, man. Like, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Actually, you can notice the influence of Aki in, in, in Portimon that in every painting uh -huh. that you see, you're gonna if you, if it's nature painted. You're gonna see a green tree with some red dots. Mm. That's haki trees. That's the haki. Mm -hmm. I see that. And you can see haki trees all around the town. Oh, okay. This is a comparison about it. Last year we celebrated 150 years of the arrival of first African Caribbeans to Limon. And this is uh, some information that owners and represent them. So it's from Kingston to Limon. This is done with a work from the UCR. So it's, it's validated. And this is a room that we're setting up where we're going to showcase different traditions, old stuff, and books we're gonna show documentaries and wow a lot of different when things. you like i would love to come back i mean i'm not sure when you're gonna have it all set up though but you know my time here is kind of going to be short i see the marcus carver but you know this i my grandmother had one of those Thank God we're not, <laughs> we don't have to go through this <laughs> but we find a lot of different books and people donate to us but we hear we we could pick up a lot of books that is going to be more about um, or ancestors and different things like that. So we're just starting to, it's not ready yet, but we're going to set it up. So here we have that exhibition, exhibition, so I recommend you to take some pictures. I will. And yeah. maybe you can, you, and it will give you more information or you can, you have more, you know? All right. Appreciate it. Let me, let me get started now. The United Fruit Company building. The United Fruit Company building. It was um, the, what do you call it? No, 
Yes, it's the same one, oh, but this, okay. the, 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 there are two different buildings. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the museum of, uh, the museum of oh, yeah. African culture. Uh, this book. All right. It's it will explain you a lot about our history, oh. about um, oh, this being is black and in, in the Caribbean mm -hmm. that that you can find about being being black and not only being black. We Limon is very multicultural. So right. We try to preserve and to showcase that the, the history from every culture that's in Limon. Gotcha. But in Limon, the black culture is more present, so it, it dominates or it takes over every, every other thing. So. Gotcha. And we just get some different interesting books. These are bought, I bought in the in the museum, so they will explain a little more. And with this, we can set up more information and and you know. And right. exhibitions and things like that. So. Gotcha. Yeah, I just said, I'm not, I'm not friend. Mm -hmm. so oh, in. yeah. Yeah, but it, he was indigenous leader. He even, wasn't. Even this was the part of the country where Columbus first arrived. Mm -hmm. It was the last part of the country that was conquered by the Spaniards. Mm. Because the, indis the indigenous fought back. Mm. And one of the leaders was Pablo Presbede. So that's what. But he was an le indigenous leader. Copy. Mm -hmm. Where they kill him? Here or in Cartago? In Cartago. In Cartago. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> There's a lot of things that really that we could go through, but <laughs> you mind my explosion. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come back, we're going by the Yeah. Well, and, well. We, and we have activities with stu students from school, mm -hmm. high school and university. We receive groups from churches. Um, Tourists, all kind of, and we we from cooking lessons to uh, different all kind of information. That sounds good. Appreciate it. Hey, man. My name is Winston Norman Scott, mm -hmm. and I am the president of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, Branch 300 in Port Limon, Costa Rica. We got to know that the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey, Marcus no. Garvey, leaded a, a strike in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So when the strike finished, he lost his job. So he knew about the Jamaicans who came here to build the railroad and to work in the banana plantation. So he decided to come to Limon and visit and work here as a timekeeper in the banana plantation. And also he worked as an English reporter in a newspaper called The Nation. And here's where all Marco Garlic start to the movement because when he saw the treatment that the people were receiving from the companies and so forth, and uh, he started to organize the people in the farm and so forth. Mm -hmm. He had to run out here because the government and the company would get against him. And so he went through Panama, went through Central America, South America, went back to Jamaica, went to England, came back to Jamaica, went back to Jamaica, and he founded on the 20th of August of, Ju um, of July 1914, the Universal Negro Improvement Association. And in Limon, we have this branch 300 that is here from the 12th of March 1919. 12th of March 1919? Yes. Wow. Well, the building burned down lately. And oh. we are now looking to rebuild the building. But we'll come with a bigger, bigger project. We call it the Marcos Garvey Global Center. Okay. So it's the Liberty Hall, Marcos Garvey Plaza, and the Liberty Hall Green Tower, which is a hotel and so forth. The, 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 the cost of this project is $15 million. So we ask for anybody who wants to donate to our project, they can do so. But the thing is that we here in the money, we follow the 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 philosophy of Marcus Garvey. Okay. And one of the things is remarkable is that in 1920, the month of August, from the 1st until the 31st of August, they had this big convention in Madison Square Garden in New York 
where um, they bring out the declaration of Negroes' rights in the world. And out of that declaration, we have the colors of our flag, the red, black, and green. Mm -hmm. We have the anthem that represents us, the uh, Ethiopian Doe land of our fathers. And establish also the 31st of August and holiday for all people in the um, black people in the world. And it's established also that um, uh, we have rights for equal treatment anywhere we go uh -huh. as black people, um, equal treatment with the white people. Because you know, in them time, certain black people couldn't go in certain places, certain places and, right. and so forth. And that was one of the things that the organization fought for. And then you have the, the, the Black Star Line, which was in opposition of the White Star Line that they had there. So he bring up the, the, that was a great idea, a great project. But um, you could say, sadly, it failed. But, but that was a good idea to bring up. We, uh, in that time, uh -huh. we, that no, we don't even have the intent to have one like that. So I feel that in the time of Marcus Garvey, um, in 1919, 1920, to have um, the, call the Black Star Line Ship Corporation was something very great. Mm -hmm. Was to make business between the, the Africa and the diaspora around the world and to move and to do business. I think we need to continue to look forward to do business because we buy things from other people or we don't buy from our people. Right. We need to look about self-reliance. Self-reliance. Self-reliance and is to purchase things that we produce between ourselves to make our people be wealthy. Because when you look about in Central America, South America, the people that is in poverty are mostly black people because you know you don't have the big companies who have the, the land and produce and we don't have anything. So we ask our brothers and sisters aware of uh, far from here to help us with our project so we can build up build up our project to give our people job the whole project will give our one 100 person job there okay because we doing something to to move on for the progress of our people for the development of our people and as the our the unia and i said the i is very important improvement 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 so that's what we look about so question, was it was it like a personal vendetta? Because you mentioned about, you know, the sensor that they have here in the moon got burnt down and is in the process of rebuilding it. What happened? Was it like a vendetta against Marcus Garvey? Was it um, racism? Like what, 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 what No, it was at a short circuit. No. Yeah, okay, that's something good. Okay. Soon in the morning and the building had ninety five years. I was board building with this all was very, very dry. So it went down in a few minutes to the oh, fire. Okay. So we have a project, we started already, mm -hmm. but we need the funds to continue um, to build up this project that they're going to, uh, and the, the, what we invite all the branches of the UNIA in the world to take our, our project and we're to build mm -hmm. anywhere at Liberty Hall to build it same way like the one we have here. You know, to take it on a, on a frame mm -hmm. so as we can, Anywhere you go and see the Liberty Hall, you see the same way. Gotcha. Yeah. And they take out this declaration that today is still valuable. And um, it's 28 years before the Declaration of Human Rights of the World. And we had a Declaration of Negro's Rights in the World. So when we look about it, it was this organization, a great organization. And all people should look to support and to stand forward to build up this organization to give it the strength it had in the past. We, we are a lot of people more, but we are more divided now. And we don't really follow the, the, the philosophy of Marcus Garvey. And we are more inclusive instead of what Marcus Garvey said, what we are a state in a state. That's why we have our flag, we have our anthem, and we have our business apart. But people want inclusive. They want to do things different and inclusive let us lose. We're losing with the inclusive aspect. We have, well, from far from generation to generation, I think this our branch is working formally. We are signed up with the headquarters in Cleveland, um, that is in Cleveland. And also we have, we work during the year doing different things, looking help for our people. And with the government, we look for food stuff and support for those in need. 
We want to go in a housing program now to get housing for our people. We have every year since nine years now our youth encounter where we gather young people and pass over this philosophy to them that they can go in knowing their history. Also, we have a king and queen, a king and queen contest. This is to study the history of the UNIA, Marcus Garvey and Amy's to know about how this organization come up. And so these people will, will always uh, have people who will be knowing the history and to sustain this organization for the amount of years we have same way. Because in Le Mans, we are 104 years in, in generally, it's the, it is 119 years. But in the month is 104. But we want this, this, this philosophy, we want this thing to keep on moving in not only the month, but in the world. And if you have anything else that you would like the rest of the world to know, what is your message to the people? What would you tell them? In terms well, of- we'd like to go back and have a big, 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 uh, what do you call it, uh, convention of the UNI. We need to unite as black people in the world. And also our convention to state out our rights to the government in whichever country we are, so we can live a better quality life, and not only in cultural but in economical issue. We need to have money so we can do things. And we know a lot of our brothers and sisters may have money, but they keep it to themselves. But it's to share around so we can better the life, especially for young people, and keep them as far as possible from what is drugs and this stuff. All right, if people want, wanted to donate, where could they donate? Well, we have to send to um, Carlos. We have a bank account, but I really don't have it now with me. But my telephone number is, um, you can, my code number is 506-891-1803. You could call me and I could um, send you the, the bank account for this project and also we have our email you can put winns0921 at gmail.com all right man thanks so much brother appreciate it you're welcome all right all right y'all have you seen all of that then you basically have a common idea how the jamaicans ended up here in costa rica and ended up having you know descendants that live here that mingle with the uh culture as well right they were brought here to do labor on the railroads uh their way back home has been uh sniffed out uh with no way to go home they had to live off of the land and co-mingle with everybody else though everybody here seems pretty much happy to be where they is it's no problem what else though everybody there tends to seem to be happy with their life you know some do would like to see what jamaica looks like and i hope they get that opportunity to see you know their roots <laughs> you know what i'm saying but yeah thank you so much for watching this man that also could explain why on the beach there was a uh burnt down destroyed boat who knows they probably destroyed it so they couldn't cop on the boat back home but who knows who knows we'll find out next time We'll find out next time on Nate's In Your State. As we look towards the future, the vibrant legacy of Jamaican descendants in Costa Rica continues to inspire. Yet as time passes, the threads of their rich cultural heritage risk fading, woven into the broader fabric of a new generation's identity. The challenge now lies in preserving this unique heritage, passing down the stories, traditions, and values that define their roots, even as they embrace the promise of tomorrow. By honoring the past while adapting to the future, the next generation can ensure that the spirit of their Jamaican ancestry continues to shine brightly. Nate in your state.